Hi there, I'm Angela Sharp, and welcome to the Daily Mix. Did you see it? Your Cardinals got their divisional title. They made it a very nail-biting weekend, that's for sure, but they ended up getting it all done, which is impressive. This will be their first time in the playoffs since 2015. This is actually, 2015 was actually the last time they had the divisional title. This is also the 15th time they've won that divisional title and the 29th postseason appearance. So they will start against the Braves in Atlanta on Thursday, but they make their way back to Bush Stadium on Sunday and then again on Monday if needed. You guys know that I'm over there as well, so make sure you come up to the Budweiser Terrace and say hi. And hey, can I get a Let's Go Cards? Now you guys know that it's getting kind of chilly, and when things get chilly, it means it's almost Halloween time. Well, guess what, you guys? I got to go to Scarefest and get all dressed up to be a scary monster at Creepy World. How cool is this? So that's Bryce right there. He took time, about 20 minutes, to make me look like this ghoulish monster. And I gotta tell you, it was so many details. Like, you could see the veins that he made, and he, he made all of this look sunken in to make me look dead. It's pretty cool. Later on the show, I'm gonna give you a little teaser of how you can see that, but it was pretty ex awesome experience. Plus, I got to be a scary monster, but I gotta tell you guys, that's a lot harder than it looks. Like, I really thought that I was gonna be good at that, jumping out of windows and stuff, but yeah, not so much. I'm not really good at that, but I love to be scared, so we're definitely gonna visit them this October. And then later on in the show, I have our guest, Sherry Jo, with Cinderella Brides. That's right, basically, she is taking brides and giving them their Cinderella wedding. And get this, you guys, if you're looking to get married before December, you might be able to get married by her. Not by her, but through her. Let's get started on today's Daily Mix. The wait is finally over. The St. Louis Wheel is now open to the public. You know that giant wheel, you've seen it. It's downtown, it lights up. Well, now it is open. Now we were some of the first to ride the 200 foot tall wheel last week and we had a great time. I gotta tell you, it's a lot more sturdy than I thought it would be. I really thought we could get in there and shake it. I'm all about that life, but I could not get it to like move at all. Like I was really trying in there to kind of scare them camera guy I had with me. He was a little afraid of heights. So, but we had a blast. And it's not just the wheel, no. There is mini golf, there's a soda fountain, there's a carousel, all of that is open. The St. Louis Wheel is open every day of the year, every single day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And you come, you definitely need to have enough time to check out the rest of that. Get this off, you guys. There's also a VIP gondola, and that is, it's the black one on there. It's got a see-through floor, it's got four bucket seats, and it's got a TV. It's all awesome. Definitely check it out. Plus, the soda fountain has Instagram-worthy photos of those shakes. Now, I know a lot of people are just gonna drink those shakes. I actually think that, um, I drank them. A lot of people are just gonna Instagram them. It's cool. We want to congratulate Comptroller Darlene Green this past Thursday. She was honored with the Woman in Public Finance Lifetime Achievement Award for the incredible work she's done for the citizens of St. Louis. She served as the city's Comptroller for more than 23 years, and we're so happy for her to receive this great honor. Now you guys, I need you to check out this video. This past week, St. Louis police officers visited Nottingham High School to have some fun with the students. Now after a friendly dance battle, the officers and students cooled off with some cool treats from Operation Polar Cops. This dance challenge and the treats were all part of an effort to help the officers build a relationship with the students so that they can feel safe around them. That's pretty cool, I actually dig that. You know, dance battles never happen where I hang out. Now, whether you know him as Coco, Money, Clutch, or the best goaltender in the world, Grant Fuhr is a hockey legend. He was the first black superstar in hockey, winning 403 regular season games throughout his career. The new documentary, Making Coco, tells the story of the Hockey Hall of Famer's life, both on and off the ice. 
The film debuts this Tuesday at Ballpark Village with a special Q&A with Fear after the screening. Making Coco will also be in six St. Louis area Marcus Theaters for one week starting this Friday, October 4th. To find a theater near you, visit MarcusTheaters.com. It may not feel like it, but fall is officially here. And that means so is Scarefest season. Of course, I'm talking about the darkness, creepy world, and the all new Lemp Brewery Haunted House. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, I got to see all the work that goes in to scaring the living daylights out of people. Check this out. one of our nurses for the new asylum like here at Creepy nurse. World this year. A creepy, scary nurse. So first of all, Bryce, I have to ask you, um, when did you decide that makeup artist was the thing you wanted to be? Uh, it, it just kind of fell into my hands. Um, I started uh, at Six Flags Fright Fest and was painting masks with what was not recommended to paint masks with at the time and then introduced into what was appropriate. Um, Latex, latex face paints and then from masks to walls to walls to faces. Oh wow. So it just kind of fell into my hands and that's I'm kind of half and half paint the sets and do makeup just kind of what I focus on nowadays. Dap, and you roll up all of your teeth just <laughs> like mouthwash. All right, so I got the first part done. I look pretty creepy. What did you guys make me into? So you are actually made into a nurse today. It fits well inside of our hospital section here at Creepy World. So you can show everyone the ugly side of some old experimentation. Oh, now that sounds awesome. Now, we've been kind of talking about the process. There is something called, what are we doing, like where you go through the practice of being a scary person? So that is called our ghoul school. It is basically a one-on-one -on -one actor training class that gets everyone prepared to interact with their first customers. It makes everyone feel comfortable inside their character. So is that for somebody who already knows they're going to be working here, or is that for somebody who might just want to work here? So it is for people who have already auditioned with us, people that are already well aware that they are joining our team. However, we do have people show up and use it as an audition, which we always accept that as well. I look so cool, don't I? All right, this has been a ton of fun out here at Creepy World. I had no idea how much went in to being a monster at a haunted house, but it's been so much fun. You guys, that was so much fun, and it really is a lot harder than I thought it was. You know, I really thought I was gonna be one of those people that was gonna be awesome and like jumping out and scaring people. I love Halloween, I love haunted houses, and I love scaring people, but it's actually a lot harder than it looks to stay in character and, and be creepy without touching people and all that stuff, so I think it's a lot of fun. The Darkness, Creepy World, and the Lent Marie Haunted Houses are all open now through Halloween weekend. You can find out more information on all of these haunted attractions at scarefest.com. But get this, you guys, listen up, this is important. We've got two family four packs to give away. Yeah, I'm serious. So to enter, just go to our Facebook page and find the Scarefest giveaway post and answer this trivia question in the comments. Which Scarefest attraction is located in the limestone caves found under an abandoned brewery? We will randomly select two lucky winners this Friday, October 4th. You guys, that's gonna be a good deal. You definitely, definitely need to check that out. So make sure you visit them. Like I said, it's a lot of fun and a great time. In 2016, Sherry Jo Steppens of Heart Events took her passion for event planning a step further with the creation of Cinderella Brides, and she has been delivering dream weddings to deserving brides ever since. Take a look at this clip featuring one of those brides. My name is Samantha, I am 25 years old. My name's Kyle, and I'm a tool and die machinist. Mm -hmm. We just had a little girl, Scarlett. She just turned eight months old. Mm -hmm. So our mm -hmm. lives are kind of yeah, revolving so around her. Like He's the calm to my storm. Well, once you get to know Samantha, you realize how good of a person she is. She's always thinking about somebody else before herself. Right. It is a blessing. 
So mommy and daddy are very thankful. Magic of TV. Joining me now is Sherry Jo. It's great to have you here. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Now, first, let, let me back up here. So you've been doing weddings for a long time, just in general. Yes, but over 25 years. 25 years. So what part of the wedding planning are you help, have you been helping brides with? Absolutely every part. We have the venues, we have the chef, we do the drinks, the decorating, basically everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. All right. So now somehow that snowballed into a TV show. That's Walk right. Walk me through that. So, um, I've been in collaboration with Tim Breitbach with Optimal Entertainment and Vitsu Media to create a show off the program I already do, basically. So a few years, it kind of just creeped into existence. Um, I've been really blessed at what I do. I love what I do. Um, I've met some wonderful people and with extraordinary circumstances. So really, I want their story to be told and why would I choose them to give them basically a wedding that they never could have otherwise. So you're kind of blessing those people who are maybe, you know, can't really afford it because maybe they're helping other people out or they're Or has doing... been sickness or just um, coming through something really terrible. And so, yeah, it, it's an honor to meet those people and tell their story. Well, I absolutely love that. Now, what will they receive as part of this? Well, basically they see uh, receive a wedding they don't know the details until that's the, that's the caveat. They hand it all over to me. So by me getting to know them, I'm the one that tries to figure out what I think their perfect wedding is. And it's revealed to them the night before and they can see everything. But wow. they don't, it's like, yes. So, so they really do they give have to you 100% yes. <laughs> control. That's exactly right. Which might right. be some interesting for some people. And some people can't do it. So some people love it, the pressure is off, and we want to make it really fun experience. But some people cannot, you know, they dream it their whole life, and it has to be just this, 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 this way, you know? And so they really have trouble relinquishing Yes, yeah, see, that. I'm not one of those people, so I would be like, here you go, like, <laughs> exactly, tell me what's right? to be there, that's cool. I think it would be too, but some people, you know, can't. I've already experienced that, but, but some people can, you know, many can, and yeah, we just want to make it fun. And I do want to give them the wedding that they could always, could only imagine. Well, some of these photos we're showing, these places look beautiful, so. Oh, we have three like locations, yeah. Right now we have three locations, Old Stone Chapel, La Belle Cour, and the Heart of St. Charles. And so all of our filming, all of our programs take place there. So you're not gonna get stuck like, in the cave at one of these haunted houses no, getting married. Exactly. You're going to be getting married you in, have in amazing a places. Location. Right, right. So, no, it's the whole dream. It's not just, uh, you know, makeshift somewhere, but yeah. I love that. So, on the show, will we see some of the stress that these women you, are going through or you'll see you the through? stress yeah you'll see the <laughs> stress everybody goes through right so you'll you'll find out what their story is and then you see the back of the house you see how we put it all together which has not really been done before you know and, and it's difficult to do unless you have control of all that which we do so you see us you know preparing the food and you know what all we have to do to make the perfect wedding and why what decisions i made and why i made them based on knowing you so like you get to, you sit down with these people, I get do. to know like they're, so that mm -hmm. you can kind of incorporate like what would be what good I for think them. you, yeah, that's right. What I, I think you like would love. So you can't be fake because if you're fake, she's <laughs> you're gonna, gonna get, get a fake, fake wedding. wedding. <laughs> that's exactly right. So we will be able to see the show later down the line. Right now you're still oh. filming. Yes, and we need two more brides and we need two more couples because we have a, a, a order to place and it has to be done by the end of the year. So that's the caveat too. If you're wanting to get married, now is the time. If you've been putting it off and you've always wanted to, there's no excuse. It, it would happen now. So you're taking applications. I for am. Brides so then go to our, our website, heartevensstl.com. It's very easy. You'll see Cinderella Bride on there. You just fill in the application, tell us a little bit about yourself, and you'll hear from us. But the catch to that is you have to get married this year, before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So And we, there's still time. Still time for October, all that. October, November, <laughs> December. That's she right. She says there's still time. The hardest thing for them is the invitations go out now. But other than that, we take care of everything else. So, so. You're, yeah, you're going to do everything else. So mm -hmm. it isn't that much. It sounds not, like that would be does. stressful if I was going to do uh -huh. it. But you're the professional. We do it all the time. You know so how we've to do got it. it. Yeah. I kind of so love It's that. really to have fun. We just have fun with it and take the pressure off you. So if you're a person that's maybe been thinking about getting married and haven't been able to for many reasons. Many people have. You would not believe how many I've talked to and you know they're already together and they, we just wanted to, but this came up and this came up, we can't afford it anymore. And so they just never did it. 
And so that's that's also the people that we're going after. Well, and that makes a lot of sense, actually. There's a lot of people that live together there and just haven't so gotten many. along to it. That's right. right. And they said, we want to, and we just haven't got to it. Well, what would be a good qualification for somebody wanting to apply? Because I know earlier we talked about you know, different obstacles oh, in their yeah, way. Yeah, there's so many different reasons. So tell me your story at all, because it doesn't always have to be the most dramatic, you know, but I've had even vow renewals, 25, 50 year, whenever they never had a wedding. So a lot of times, you know, oh. they enlist and so they just eloped because they, they because never they had, had to. to. So right. now they're actually getting the very first wedding that they ever had, which I love those stories. There's blended families, you know, someone passed away and then, you know, there's, there's all kinds of reasons. So it well, just makes it an interesting yeah, story, right? I love this. So somebody watching right now, The Daily Mix on SCL TV, might be selected That's to be right. your magical so wedding. So tell us, you know, what you might think is insignificant might not be insignificant. So and so again, where do they go to apply for that? Yeah, our website, HeartEventsSTL.com, and you'll see the Cinderella Bride. Just fill it in, and we'll talk to you. I absolutely <laughs> love that. And in addition to this, are you also still planning? Oh, we plan many ways. People. Oh yeah, yeah. We do about 300 weddings a year, so this so is for those, just in our mix. Yeah. But. So for people mm -hmm. who you know do know that they want the white dove to place the ring on their finger, exactly. You can work with them on that. <laughs> All I don't the know time. how you train that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We've been doing it for a long time, so yeah. And so can they find that on the same website? Heart. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. They can ask us anything. We'll Everything is right there for you, so definitely check that out. We're so happy to have you. It's all right there on your screen right now, Cinderella Brides. Hey, it could be you watching the show right now. You might be getting married just, you know, before December. Yeah, very quickly. And if so, please contact us, because <laughs> I want to hear that, about that, too. Yeah. You can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can drop us a line at the Daily Mix at stltv.net. We want to hear from you. That's going to do it for the Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis.